Hi, I'm Christian Martirano here with our good friends at Full Compass, and it's my privilege today to show you the Nord Electro 5. The 5D I'm playing in front of me is one of three different models in the 5 series. They have the 5D offered in a 61 note and a 73 note, both featuring the waterfall organ style keyboard. Then they have a 73 note with a hammer weighted action called the 5HP. So today I'm playing the 61 note version. Nord has been listening to their users and implementing features that they've been asking for. Some of the new features, splitting and layering. That's awesome that they listen to you and they provide this now standard with this beautiful OLED display showing you lots of information. That's also new for Nord. Also, they've increased the memory for the piano and electro mechanical instrument section, now up to one gigabyte. They also have now broken out separately the sample player synth section, adding the decay and attack and release controls, envelope controls, dynamics, a filter that you can actually control from velocity. They also have now all the great effects, plus a new one called Vibe. Then they have some really cool things that they've done in the effects section, like breakout delay separate from reverb. This is great, so now you can use different amounts of reverb, different amounts of delay, whereas in the Electro 4 series, you had to make a choice. The organ has been greatly improved. The rotary speaker emulation has been greatly improved. The tone wheel organ, in fact, now the spec matches their C2D top of the line double manual instrument. They've added a pipe organ model, and they've added now the B3 bass pedals. So I'm just going to go through some of the sounds here, show you some of the cool new features. I was just playing a layered sound featuring a piano and some Mellotron strings. So let's go through and we'll just hear a piano really quick and then I'm going to start to go into the new features. Their pianos play beautifully. The keyboards have been regulated so that the action is so smooth. There's no weird velocity bumps or sounds jumping out. I love the fact now that you can split and layer. So let's jump into showing some of these. I put together a church cathedral organ sound using the new pipe organ model that they give you that's included, and then using a sample playback of a cathedral organ. I'm controlling the cathedral organ from a, a control pedal on the ground. So as I bring up the control pedal, I'm adding more reeds to a fluty sounding pipe organ. Sounds something like this. So you can see how powerful layering is, and you see that I controlled one of the sample playback from a CC pedal. A new feature they added, which is cool, I'm going to show on a clavinet sound, is now you can map your CC pedal to effects. I always wanted a wah-wah pedal on a clav that I was playing, so now I can do that very easily. Right now I'm just assigning it, and now I'm going to use the wah effect on a clavinet patch. Turn off the reverb, little delay off, and I can adjust octave at a touch of a button, the lower engine as they call it, the lower part and the upper part have their own octave shifts. I'm going to jump over to the uh, 
the tone wheel organ for a minute and show you I have the bass pedals now for the tone wheel organ split off to the left. And you can see it's coming in now to the full organ manual. My split note is right at F. There are LEDs now on the front panel when you make a split showing you where the split is. This is great for live performance on a dark stage. It's excellent. All of the controls, by the way, are, are excellent and get transmitted out over MIDI. So if you're doing things in your DAW in the studio, all of this information can be transmitted and then, of course, come back when you play sequences back. So here's a split organ with a prog rock organ sound on the top and the bass pedals on the left. There's even an optional half moon switch that now you can mount on the left side that will control the rotary speed. So if you grew up with a Leslie control, you can now have that physically on the instrument as well. One of the other cool features they added was this view to see a list so you can make an alternate list of programs. If you're playing live, you know, one of the things you need to do is order your sound so that in some way you can move from sound to sound, whether it be your verse, your chorus, and then back to the verse, and maybe the solo, or maybe your songs, one song after the other. You now have this great set list mode. You have up to 100 set lists you can program. Each set list has four patches that'll respond to the A, B, C, and D buttons on the front panel. So this makes getting around your sounds for live now a snap. One of the cool controls right in the middle of the display for the data area is a mix knob. So if I make a split or I make a layer and I want to on the fly adjust the mix, all I do is turn this knob. So right now I've made a uh, split here. If I want to make the right side a little bit louder, all I have to do is turn the knob a little to the right. If I want the left a little louder, again the other way. This is great for real-time tweaking your sounds as you're performing. If you like what you did, just hit the store button and you can save that right it to memory. Very, very cool instrument. So this is from Nord. This is the Nord Electro 5. Look for it. It's a great instrument. Get your hands on one. It's the most fun to play. So if you want more information about Nord, make sure you check out fullcompass.com. Or better yet, contact one of your sales representatives. I'm going to show you one last little excerpt here from the Nord Electro 5. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Martirano.